what's up guys and welcome back so as you can see from the title of the video we adopted a pug so i am so excited to share this video with you guys i was waiting to film this video and i'm finally filming it so basically the backstory is we adopted the pug her original owner passed away and um the dog went to her best friend her best friend wasn't able to keep her because she got already had two other dogs and having three dogs was too much to deal with so we came about her so Basically, I'm the type of person, I love dogs. Once I get into my head that I want a dog, we need to have a dog. <laughs> so, we had just, like, talked about a dog, like, maybe, like, a week. too long before we got him? Yeah, about, yeah, about maybe a week or so. Mm -hmm. Don't mind a kid's toy. <laughs> but we had just talked about her, like, maybe, like, a week or so. What was up? Okay, there you go. We had just talked about her like a week or so. Just dogs in general. We didn't even know we were going to get a pug or whatever. But ironically, I haven't come across pug videos on YouTube. So maybe it was a sign. And I went on there looking for her. I actually went on Craigslist. I know Craigslist has a bad reputation. And I'm really cautious with Craigslist. But I happened to go on there just randomly. And it said, um, pug up for adoption. And I was like, okay, you're yeah, right. <laughs> come on. It's rare to find a pug. Exactly. For adoption. And on Craigslist, oh, it's going to be a scam. It's going to be flag. I'll tell you on Craigslist, it's flag. But it wasn't. Surprisingly. They, they cost. Yeah. Just to buy a puppy. Yeah. It cost what, like? I've seen one like $100, like 600 maybe up to 1000 on those edges. Yeah. And so I basically talked to the lady back and forth and everything else like that. And, you know, she was, you know, she was four. She wasn't a puppy. She's four. And, you know, we were talking and basically after talking for maybe like a whole day back and forth through email, we eventually exchanged numbers in Texas and we eventually worked it out where I was able to adopt her. And immediately when I started getting closer to it, because I was like, okay, before I even tell him about it, I want to make sure she's legit. So I got a good vibe for I called him and I was like, hey, so, uh, you know, maybe we were talking about getting the dog. <laughs> like, he had no idea I was texting this lady. Yeah, what you think about a pug? And I did not send you pictures. Did you send me pictures? I know I sent you pictures. My nose is y'all. I'm sorry. Allergy yeah, season. Yeah, um, yeah, I sent her pictures. Of, she, I asked her to send me pictures. That's another thing. I ever ask a doctor dog on Craig listen, make sure they send you pictures. And make sure they're not the same pictures that they have up on the site on the ad already. That's a red flag right there. Because if I actually send me a picture of a dog, they shouldn't match. Because you mm -hmm. should be able to like, take a picture of a dog right there with you with a dog is it. <laughs> so I asked her to send me more pictures. And she did. And I ended up sending him the pictures. If I... I think I still have the picture. I do have the picture sent on my phone. The pictures will be popping up somewhere in this video. Right now, somewhere. But yeah, so send the pictures. And what do you think about the pictures? I like them. I mean, she smaller than I thought she was. <laughs> yeah, she was <laughs> Because small. I'm used to seeing pugs that are a little, I guess you could say, a little overweight. Thicker. <laughs> Got a little thickness to them. Yes. But she's a perfect fit for us. Yeah, so we ended up going through what we got her maybe... Two days later, I believe it was. Mm, I think yeah, I talked to her like a... Yeah, I know it was shortly after. It wasn't yeah. long after. Yeah, I think I talked to her like a Wednesday or Thursday. We, have, we got her Saturday. Um, we met up with her, of course, met at her house. We met up actually with her husband, which I didn't meet at first. I was like, okay, why is your husband meeting me with a dog? Not you, but, you know, that was cool. I brought him with me, of course. Did all the safety precautions, public place, lots of people around. Brought him with me. Of course, didn't bring my kids along. Excuse me, so we met up and this is us having her in the car with us for the first time. Here's that clip right now. Our dream dog, but we got a pug. This is Iris, say hi. This is Iris. We just adopted her, adopted, rescued her, and we just picked her up. So we're going to go home and we're going to show the kids for the first time. So, as you can see how from our reaction, we loved her. Like, what was your mm -hmm. first impression of her? Oh, well, when we first, after we picked her up, we stopped at, uh, what was that? Burger, Burger King. King Burger King. Burger King. Oh, yeah, she shared fries with me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, and she was polite, you know what I'm saying? Well, she didn't beg for the food. She didn't, like, no. make, like sometimes you eat and they just kind of beg for it and kind of bark. And she was like, she didn't make no noise. She was just like, all right, you know, you want to share? Uh-oh. Like, she's like, if you want to share, awesome. If you don't, okay <laughs> i'm not offended she was really sweet driving uh the only, she wanted to sit on my lap while i was driving I'm like okay this is yeah, not she's, gonna happen. <laughs> she's a lap dog yeah she's definitely she a lap dog to, she likes to be rubbed 
cuddle. All that cuddle was good. She definitely loves yeah, cuddle. Like so. she's a sleeper. Yeah. And she likes to sleep a lot. So she had to learn very quickly that you can't sit on my lap when I have to turn. So as you seen in the video, she was on his lap the majority of the ride because I had like, okay, I can't turn with you. That's because I was the guy with the fries. Yeah, and he had the fries. So, you know, that one up me right there. And then to make it even better, this was a surprise to our kids. They had no idea we were considering getting a dog or anything. So we basically, when we left, we told them we were going to Home Depot or whatever because they knew we were, had to go to Home Depot. We were building some stuff. So we told them we are going to go to Home Depot. And it's like, okay, nothing, nothing of it. So they had no clue. So basically, when I went in the house, like me and him already had a plan, like just send the dog in, our dog run in. I told him, like, oh, you're about to bring in some candy for y'all. So why don't y'all go to the living room so he can, we can just get all the candy in the living room. So, you know, whatever. So this is their reaction to the dog right here. How about to bring that? Come on, brother, bring in that candy in there. <laughs> Go sit down, but we'll see you get your tree. Did y'all beat um, Bobby to 100? Because it started at it started over. It said 30 something. What? Bobby to 100. It's the highest score. Oh, yeah, man. That didn't mean it. Yes! No, it's not. I want to get it. Yes! 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 Yes!
Mm, was it good? Was it tasty? Whatever you just taste them. But yeah, so we're going to end this video so Irie can get ready to go outside because she has to go outside and handle her business before she goes back to sleep. So thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for taking time to meet Irie, the four-year-old folks. Say bye-bye. No? Okay, we'll just let her walk away. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. I am pumping out content. I'm so proud of myself. I'll put more and more videos out. So make sure to subscribe to my channel for more of all my content along with some videos with Irie because I'm going to be doing the Bark Box. And you guys, of course, will see her in my regular um, vlogs and stuff like that. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. So bye, Irie. No bye. No snort. You know what I'm snort for? No, she's too busy getting rubbed. All right. Pieces. Peace, peace, peace.